So, on your suggestions, guys, I will now remove people from my friends list. It's been a long time, but a lot of people, as you can see, quit the game. It's very sad when people quit the game. But it happens, because the honest truth is, a lot of people are upset with IS and what they've been doing with the game. I've never seen so many people quit until this year. Until the past six months in particular. Uh, in general, it's not this bad. I've never seen it this bad. So yeah, I hope IS shapes up. This month is IS's comeback arc. All right, this is where they make the comeback. You already saw it with the FEH trailer. You should take some solace out of that. They've never ever done anything on April Fool's Day before. They don't give you, and you already know guys, IS is incredibly stingy and incredibly distant as, as a game company. So like for most companies, like on New Year's Day, they give you something nice. On Christmas Day, they give you something nice. IS gives you shit. <laughs> they, they, they give you like a message like, Merry Christmas, here have nothing. Actually, have this hundred dollar bundo. Actually, you give us money. That's 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 basically IS. And then they recently took took away our orbs, and they gave us gave us back an orb accessory. Of course, we prefer to actually have the orbs and whatnot. But 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 regardless of all of that, being April, Bowser are gonna go. Robin are gonna go. Being April, uh, Wings are gonna go. Being April, it is their last big month before summer. So this month, there's going to be Golden Week. This month, I already had April Fools, and they did something for that. So they started this month out well. April Fools, I know it's a small video. It didn't take much effort. It didn't take much money. But it's a it's a step in the right direction. It shows that they're actually going to care enough to interact with the community. Uh, which is weird for them, because if you haven't noticed, IS is really, really distant. For most game companies, um, they have... They, on Discord, you could talk to literally... You could literally talk to staff... You could send them messages and they respond. Um, I literally sent IS my credit card number and they never sent me a message back. You know, that's that's fucked up. Um, but yeah, it's it's a good start. And we have this entire month to see what they're going to do. So I hope this is a redemption arc. I, I hope this is from where they bring things back to the point it was. Okay, maybe that's a that's a stretch. But uh, Nugos are going, Jays are going. Uh, Nim's gay mom. I know you're... I know you've... Uh, I know you're only away for four hours, but you're really tempting me right now. But then if Owen's my mom, that would be huh. so bad. It's Nim's gay mom now. It's no longer Amp's gay mom. Y your mom gay. Oh. I'm, uh, wait. No, oh. I'm sorry. I don't... Your mom's a nice woman. I'm, I'm sorry. It's wrong. Anyways, I hope this is the this is the cue that Aias has taken to improve themselves. Um, I feel like... I feel like if on if this week if this month they'll this month during this month for sure there's a fate channel. Whatever the new mode is, if there is a new mode, uh, I'm pretty sure there will be. It needs to sell everybody. It needs to get everyone hype out of the game again. Uh, there has to be something big. There has to be some big giveaways for Golden Week. There has to be something something that really just drives interest back. Cause cause I don't want to look like a dumbass. From back in December, saying Book Three is gonna save this game. Look, they're gonna have a good, good story. They're gonna have this new Ethan Raids mode, and then and then they they proceed to fuck it up. So I hope I'm not. I don't hope I'm not that idiot again. But yeah, this week, this week is where everything comes back. Angel, are you serious? Two weeks. Okay. Uh, Jazz, Jagger Jazz. I actually haven't seen her in forever. She plus that a Subaki. Oh, uh, no. I haven't seen her in forever. She doesn't watch the stream anymore, anymore anyways. Um, but yeah. Now you gotta watch me remove people from my friends list because so many people quit the game. Not just that, like a lot of people don't even don't watch streams anymore or don't watch any content for FEH anymore because that's just how it goes. They just got bored of it. Bowser. Four days. You know what? We'll, we'll make the move for four days. Robin the Joker. I actually haven't seen Robin. I actually have. I actually told a very funny story about Robin. Um, and that is when Langrisser first came out, he joined a Langrisser Discord and he he, con he like convinced Phil Art or whoever else was involved that he was a good early candidate and he literally got sent a shirt for Langrisser. Then he quit Langrisser like one day in. But he got a free shirt from it. That bastard. Should have gone he to somebody. Them out. Huh? He cheated them out. He cheated them. Tisk tisk. 
Oh, oh, the funniest thing was when Robin got his shirt delivered, apparently, um, Phil Art writes your uh, in-game name as your po uh, as your real name on the posto on the postals. So for him, it says Robin the Joker, and then and then there's a number for number for Phil Art on it. So apparently, Phil Art got the call from Robin Joker's dad, and they're like, "Who's Robin the Joker, and why are you sending me this shirt?" <laughs> That's pretty bad. That's pretty funny. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I know. Um. Well, with that said, I haven't seen Robin and Joker anywhere since then, so maybe he got locked away from the internet because his dad probably thinks it's, like, an evil place because he gave away his address for a stupid shirt. Hey, you're in trouble. Anyways, I also got my Langrisser shirt. I should wear it on stream when I put the webcam on. Um, but yeah, Langrisser. Uh, really good game. I've Okay, honestly, I've been enjoying Langrisser a lot more than FEH lately, but... That's because Langrisser does so much to do. Anyways, I'm not going to plug in Langrisser right now. Just removing people. But if you guys are really, really bored of FEH, I do think they'll turn things around. I really do believe it. You seriously can't fuck up FEH from the point you um, started at. Even though the game's been on decline for a while, even though Langrisser passed um, FEH as a top grossing game on the Google Play Store, at least for a while, despite being like, you know, two years younger, over two years younger, um... I, I have some belief that they're going to make things happen. But they really have to show it this month, basically. Alright, anyways. Wow, how many people are we removing? You know Nugos is actually in this chat right now. I haven't seen Jay in forever. Alright guys, so while editing, I remembered I forgot to say two things. These two things actually do help define whether this is going to be a successful sign from Mayas or not. Number one... You guys remember Roy, right? Roy's blessing is supposed to tell us what it's going to do this month. So I'm wondering, um, it specifically says Roy's new blessing will have an effect on new game content. So that hints at a new mode and whatnot. But really, I want to see what they do with this new blessing if it's necessary. If you need to have this blessing to compete in whatever mode it is, then IS has lost their minds again and there really is no hope. I'm sorry to say that, but there really is no hope. Because the reason is, if IS stays with the mentality that you need to have these skills, like for example, if you want to compete in Ether Raids right now, you want to do your best, you need two airs at least. Now that doesn't sound so hard, but considering I, you know, I just tried pulling for another air and didn't get her, you know, there's a lot of luck involved. So if you need certain heroes to do well or better in certain modes, I already don't like that. I really think IS and Fire Emblem Heroes and Fire Emblem in general should be focused on making a game where it's you know, skill first, but it's been so far from that. The game has historically been reliant on you pulling, you summoning, right? You need to get so many heroes to merge them up, then you need to get other heroes to get the skills, then you can start using that hero and start, start competing, right? That's not very friendly. So I really hope Roy's blessing is not more towards those game mo game content modes like Again, if it's necessary for you to have Roy or whatever new hero coming out to be competitive in said mode, then that's a terrible sign. Number two, IS needs to make this game more communicative, whether through us speaking to IS on what we want, what we need, what we want adjusted, but also along with communication and play with fellow friends. So right now the friends list doesn't do much. Right now messaging IS doesn't do much. That needs to change. That changing would go a long, long way. At least, the very least, you know, if you can interact with friends, people are more likely, more inclined to play this game lo longer. Fire Emblem Heroes is actually a pretty lonely game if you think about it. You know, there's still no PvP. And in general, when you get your friends' heroes, it's in things like Voting Gauntlet, in Grand Conquest, in Rival Domains. But, you know, that's actually not very, very significant. You know, it's nice to have those heroes, but it doesn't really add to your play, play experience by that much. Would you much rather have a co-op mode, the ability to play them? I bet you would. So that's my perspective. And also, you know, realistically, I should be spending some money to open up a division of, for say, Fire Emblem Twitter, Fire Emblem Facebook, um, Fire Emblem Discord, and having official staff there to, you know, to be there to let people know directly how, what the developers think and whatnot. You know, someone to actually just get information across from both ways. Let developers know what players really, really want from the grounds up, and let and let players know what developers are trying to do. With that said, 
developers should be doing more to let players know what they're trying to do. I really, really miss the old school developer challenges, right? Where developers um, come out and make a map of their own with their own heroes, and then you gotta beat them, and then you get orbs for it. But again, I tries not to do that stuff anymore because they've gotten incredibly stingy with orb giveaways. So they're cutting down on or amount of orbs you're getting. Though to be fair, this year they were going up and up in terms of orbs, and then now all of a sudden they cut it all off. So. Not literally all off, but you know what I mean. Uh, monthly, it's got nerfed. Tap battle got nerfed, and so on. Anyways, um, with all that said, again, I do believe in IS. At least for next month. <laughs> it's not a lot of time, but they really need to show me what's up this month. If they don't, I'm already on the side of playing this game pseudo-competitively. Like, all I care about is getting to top ranking of rewards, top two ranking of the rewards, right? If I get top 5k in Tempest Trials, I'm happy enough. If I get top 3000 in Arena Assault, I'm happy enough. If I'm in tier 20.5, I'm happy enough. If I am in, you know, in Ether Raids very similarly in top 3k, I am happy enough. That's all I'm looking for. Once upon a time, I would really gun for the top ranks, but with the, how the game is, I know that's not possible, especially as a free-to-play player. Anyways. I'm hoping for all the changes, and again, to summarize, I really think they're started this month on strong and right. The voting gauntlet update, I love it. You know, now you don't have to be guarding the game, being there all the time. You can go away and uh, come back and do all 8 hours at once. That is so cool. I really prefer that. Um, of course, the April Fool's trailer is big too. They've never done that before. Inter that shows a less serious, less strict, less money-grubbing side of IS, and I kind of miss that. You know, in the first year... They did a lot more. They used to interact with the fan community a lot more, but that's all changed. Year two was super, super like hardcore. We got to make as much money as we can. Oh, yes. I'm hoping with year three, especially with the banners changing to be away from Fates and Awakening, especially Fates, um, and all these recent changes. I think they are improving, but again, this month has to show it because the next until the, until summer, if they have nothing until summer, they're gonna lose a ton more players. Anyways, I'm hoping for the best. And I thank you guys for listening for so, as long as you did. Um, I hope you guys drop a like if you liked, if you subscribe, if you really liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.